In today's video, we'll be talking about how to rank your product on page one. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, Bashar Keto here, Amazon a seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's video, we'll be talking about exactly how to rank your product on page one on Amazon. So be sure you guys are staying tuned until the end as at the end, I'll be making an announcement about a few tricks that I have been trying the past few months that I have been actually, you know, working for me very well. Now this is, you know, part two of the series of how to rank your product on page one. And in this video, we'll be talking about exactly PPC, you know, just paid advertising, um, you know, how the whole thing works, uh, you know, how you can actually use Amazon's a new algorithm and ju uh, just pretty much the whole gist about how the whole thing works. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the topic right away. So as many of you guys know, there are two different types of, of uh, uh, campaigns, right? There is automatic campaign, there's manual campaign. Now with previously, you know, like last year or even before that, you know, the whole, the whole thing of, of how Amazon would actually attract or what kind of keywords Amazon would use for those campaigns is totally different from what it is right now. So just because maybe you, you know, you happen to stumble upon a, a successful product that you launched and it did very well last year, you know, it doesn't mean that you could actually, you know, uh, launch products right now and, and, and be successful. You know, I've been selling for two years and actually uh, just started launching or wanted to launch uh, six new products this year. And, um, and when I first launched, I've already launched two. You know, in the beginning when I first launched them, I was having trouble getting them, ranking them, although I knew the numbers were there. I knew the potential was there, but it was just difficult for me to rank them. You know, and then my ways of doing it before were not working. And that's when I, you know, started learning about the new Amazon's algorithm and the new software, the new updates Amazon have been doing this whole time for the past, you know, few months. And then now I'm learning a lot more than what I knew before. And then I'm actually, you know, putting those, that knowledge that I learned into work and then it started paying off. So the first things first, when you do an automatic campaign, which is the first thing anybody should do, and please don't freak out when your ACOS, which is A-C-O-S, which is pretty much the cost, you know, cost per click is way too high. You know what I mean? Um, and sometimes you'll see it as high as two, three, four hundred percent. And that is okay because, you know, when you first start, you might be actually uh, ranking for keywords that have nothing to do with your product. So let's take this, uh, this little thing right here. So this is actually a flask that I launched uh, a while back. And uh, it's a ranked flask, and uh, and you know, it's, it's flask, right? So let's say you are, you know, some of your keywords for this product are, let's say, uh, a drinking flask or something like that, right? That you're ranking for. Now, other keywords might be like uh, 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 like bottles or drinking bottles or or cups or, or I don't know something else, right? And you might be showing, you know, for those keywords, and then you're spending a lot of money there where really, you know, when people look, you know, look you up and then you show in front of them, and then this is what it is, this is what your product is, it's a flask, you know, you, they click on your listing, excuse me, they click on their listing and it's not going anywhere because, you know, it's not converting into sales because the product has nothing to do with the keywords, you know what I mean? And these are just some products that I've actually either launched before or I've, you know, I've done arbitrage on or whatever, so... Uh, every every time I do a video from moving forward, I'll, I'll showcase some products. I've done tens, if not hundreds, of, of uh, products arbitrage, and then I've launched about ten products right now. So some of the ones that I did not work, I'll showcase them here, and I'll also put out some products that I've done arbitrage on. But you know, going back to what I was talking about, when doing PPC, when doing you know pay per click ads, what you want to do is you want to focus on first you run your automatic campaign and then it's running right and you let it run two to five days at least and then after that what you want to do is you want to pull the report and then take all that and then turn it into a manual campaign now manual campaign you know you're not only looking at sales because a lot of times you might not even make any sales because the keywords are just all over the place however look at impressions you know the words with or the keywords or the the phrases or the search terms with the highest impressions use those also the second thing look at you know uh, pay-per-click you know the ones that are low you know that convert into sales get those and then the ones that are at sales 
make sure you get those also and you make a manual campaign now when you're creating a manual campaign there are diff three different types of manual campaigns there is phrase match there is uh, exact match and there is broad match typically it goes like this broad match is one word phrase match is two or more words exact match is three or more words right broad is let's say so this is a flask you know or yeah so this is a flask so that's a broad no that's a broad word now um a a or a phrase could be uh like a drinking flask you know now when it's when you say phrase and i personally love phrase because you're using more than one word right so let's say you're using two different words now those two different words they could either be used the same way so a drinking flask or flask drinking or flask drink or you know words could be put before them after them and between them so anyhow you know any any way that people search as long as these two words are within the 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 search term then your product will rank okay and it all depends on your bid how much you're bidding okay and then also on your product how your product ranks how many sales you're doing just because you're bidding the highest do not expect to show at the top when you're doing a you know a search because i know that i got frustrated in the beginning when i would be you know like drinking flask so drinking flask let's say the suggested bid and when you go to your back end amazon will say this is just a bid and it'll tell you so the bids are between 50 cents and a dollar 25. i was bidding a dollar 50 dollar 75 and i was searching that keyword or that term and i still was not showing up until like page three or four because my product is not ranking. I don't have any reviews, I don't have any sales. So Amazon looks at all that. It's not just because you're bidding the highest, they're gonna put you in the front. They want, you know, credible listings. They want listings that actually, you know, have proven that they are good. You know, products that have proven they are good. They have some reviews, they have some sales, they have some history, you know what I mean? So go out there, do some giveaways, do get some reviews first, and then, you know, do get into that. But you want to first run your automatic PPC. I also start with, manual PPC as well so when I'm doing my research for keywords and before you start doing this is you need to have you know a list of keywords that you're gonna put in your back end you're gonna put in you know all over your listing you know and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit uh, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have four to six keywords that you really think those are the killer keywords those keywords are the top keywords for your listing and what I do is I run a manual campaign with those depending on how large or small I'll make my list or my uh, my match type to those and then what I also do is I'll run the same keywords over a few days with different match types and see what's converting better so let's say a uh, ring let's say ring uh, a, a drinking flask so that's like an exact match right so I'll run that as a phrase for three to five days and then I'll stop it and then I'll run it again the same keyword as an exact match and see which one does better okay uh, uh, and never run both at the same time never run uh, phrase and exact match I know sometimes you know uh, people may say well if you're doing different uh, different bids then that's fine but Amazon will take the highest bidder right so if you're doing let's say exact match a dollar twenty per click and then phrase dollar fifteen per click well of course the the, the exact match is gonna get more views or more impressions because you've got the higher bid so I would do about the same bid, uh, you know, run one exact or one uh, uh, match type for a few days and then stop it and then run the other match type and then, you know, see which one does better and then stick around with that, you know, and then maybe just either raise your uh, uh, um, raise your uh, uh, bid a little bit higher. Okay, so what I, typically, what I typically do is I start with automatic campaign and I start with a manual. And then I'll start a second manual after seeing how my first manual does. So I'll put a bunch of keywords in my first manual. I'll also use the suggested keywords by Amazon. And then I'll run it. And then I'll change differently, right? And then I'll see the few keywords, like four to six keywords that are doing very well. And I'll take those. And also for my automatic, and I'll run a second manual by itself focused on just those keywords. Because here's the thing. If, you have, if your budget is $20 a day and you have 30 keywords, okay, the focus is not going to, you know, the focus is going to be all over the place, right? But if you take 46 keywords and only put $10, it's that $10 is going to go only on those 46 instead of kind of being dispersed, you know, among all the other 30, right? So that's just kind of how I do it, okay? And it's worked out just fine for me. Now, also one thing you need to understand, your listing is very important. Your title is number one, keyword searched. 
Your second thing is your backend keywords, as, as I talked about it last time. Your backend now you can only have 250 bytes, not keywords, bytes. So that's less than 250 keywords, not including spaces. So don't worry, don't freak out, not including spaces, okay? Um, so your titles number one, your backend search terms are number two. Third thing is your features, and then the fourth are your description, uh, uh, product description. And all those places need to be very heavy on keywords. Your features are not just talking about the product. You need to make sure, you need to focus on, okay, what are my main keywords? What are the keywords that I really rank for? And be sure you put them in your description and in your features, okay? So literally, and you can always just run your, you know, uh, campaigns, okay? Or do your search about your product and then get those keywords. And then, you know, after you have created your listing, go back and then add those keywords where they belong. Do not repeat keywords, especially between title and it's back-end search terms. Automatic campaign takes it from everywhere on your listing, from your title, description, and features. That's where, you know, automatic campaign takes the keywords from. Your manual campaign comes from the back-end search terms. So make sure, and then also what you're bidding on, you know, individually, okay? So make sure you guys are focusing on, you know, PPC. It's honestly very important. It's, you know, I personally never cared for it that much, as much as I do now, but it's a very crucial, and yes, it may get expensive, but it is what will actually make or break your listing. So, guys, be sure to hear Amazon I'll be a seller from beautiful San Diego. If there is anything you guys want me to cover next time, I'll probably be making another video about the same topic, how to rank your product on page one tomorrow. Um, however, if you guys have any questions or if there's any topics you guys want me to talk about, drop them in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. Uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. Also share it with your friends, you know, and uh, just, you know, share the love. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to cover in my next video. Aside from that, guys, best shark to hear Amazon to be a seller from beautiful San Diego. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day and peace out.